My project is called Octree Scene Construction from a Depth Camera. The goal of the project is to take augmented reality to the next level. Today, most AR applications directly overlay a virtual model in front of a live camera stream. At best, these virtual models are depth tested against the depth image from a structured light or time of flight camera such as the Kinect. Imagine a future where we can blend virtual models to seamlessly render them with consistent lighting with a live scene, and also render the virtual camera from alternative viewpoints or with alternative lighting conditions. To do this, I have explored methods to use GPU computing to reconstruct and re-render a scene at high speeds. GPU computing is a good match for this problem as it has many data parallel computations that repeat the same calculation for hundreds of thousands of pixels in the connected image and rendered display. The first part of the problem involves tracking the physical camera motion using the camera images. I have implemented an iterative closest point method that searches for a camera transformation, a translation and rotation, that aligns the point cloud from each depth image to the surfaces of the previous image. What you see here is that the camera is rotating, yet for the most part the objects in the scene are staying right in place. I have optimized my CUDA implementation of this algorithm to reach typical speeds of 15 to 20 frames per second. This is a fairly robust if low camera motion speeds, but in general it's a very hard problem to solve. Next, I use an octree data structure for spatial subdivision so the duplicate points in the same part of space can be eliminated. This allows us to build up our scene from a 30 hertz camera at 640 by 480 resolution without data explosion. I also use a sparse representation so it's memory efficient to avoid dividing large empty parts of space. I developed a GPU parallel algorithm that in incrementally updates and filters an octree map from a point cloud stream. This process typically happens at 25 frames per second given one centimeter resolution of a four meter space using an NVIDIA GTX 770 GPU. To compact the octree and minimize its footprint on the GPU, I use a linear representation that packs each node into 64 bits. Texture memory is also used for hardware-based interpolation when sampling from the map. I also use a stack-based octree on the CPU to manage the GPU when it becomes too large for its memory. I started to put together a paging mechanism to move parts of the tree back to the CPU when they are not, not in use. Finally, I have worked on techniques to render our map at the same quality as the original image. Rendering raw point clouds is fast and easy, but the quality degrades when changing the camera view. I developed an algorithm to efficiently extract voxels from our map to render colored cubes with OpenGL instanced rendering. This is moderately fast and the depth noise from the camera is clearly filtered out. I've also implemented a voxel cone tracing approach that leverages the multiple scales of the octree for an efficient physically based rendering approach. Voxel cone tracing is an efficient technique for real-time indirect illumination incorporated in modern game engines such as Unreal Engine 4. Rather than casting individual rays from a camera view, this approach instead pre-integrates lighting into an octree, then casts a cone from the camera. The slow stage of the pipeline is usually voxelization of trimesh geometry to create an octree. Fortunately, the scene representation here is already an octree, so no conversion is necessary. To my knowledge, these are the first results showing voxel cone tracing of octrees constructed from camera data. I haven't optimized this for speed yet, but the rendering quality vastly exceeds the other methods.